Greetings and a very happy new year to you. We got a system that's gonna be plowing into the west. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about east snow chances. Here's some waves of chilly air with this trough, but then you get the warmth that pushes back in. And this is just a little cool. It's not cold at all for January standards. There's some cold air finally. This isn't your only real Arctic cold blast in New England. Otherwise, this is very mild air into the middle portion of the country. And that is, again, just a little bit below average. So a lot of above average temperatures coming. System as of Wednesday afternoon plowing into the southeast severe weather. This guy has been moving around into the upper Midwest. Big cyclone there and there's our big talker. All that moisture in towards portions of California. Yeah, definitely remarkable there and that's going to bring a lot of rain and snow. No major Arctic blast. It's an overall warm pattern across really much of the country, but it does get more active and there will be shots of cooler air. You don't need below average temperatures in January to get snow. So this goes into th Thursday. This is our Thursday into Friday and Saturday afternoon is when this will end. So this system heads on out. It's not going to be a big deal. You get one little wave of moisture breaking off into the middle of the country, more moisture into California, um, portions of Oregon and Washington. Then this system could coat everything. Um, it's not going to be a big deal, I don't think, as you go in towards the weekend. This is the United States here on this map. This is the jet stream uh, up aloft where the airplanes fly. And this is a major belt of air and moisture. This is the Pacific Ocean and it's just obviously a ton of moisture there. So you're just pushing that in. You're piling it up into California and Oregon, the Sierra Nevada mountains, into portions of the Rockies. And all that moisture is just falling down to the ground. And that's where you see major flooding and you see a ton of snowfall. hundred and something inches. Yeah still to come over the course of the next week or so, 40 inches, 50 inches. These are feet and feet of snow and pretty significant accumulations in spots, even through the southwest into those higher terrain. And that means also a lot of rainfall, quarter inch, half inch, one, two inches west. But California is the main talker where we're talking about maybe a half a foot to a foot or more of rain in spots. Definitely a lot of areas with significant rain, mudslides, flooding, the whole shebang. That's going to be an active pattern as we go through portions of the uh, end of the weekend into next week. There you go. A couple of guys visiting portions of the east. And notice a little bit of the blue color mixed in at times, allowing for a little snow to accumulate. Possibly there could be a decent system into the interior sometime as we go throughout next week. We'll see. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But certainly this is where the confidence is a big boy. Um, really impacting a lot of the West Coast area. But again, a couple systems definitely possible. This guy, if it happens, would be a big deal snowstorm into the interior Northeast sometime around the middle of next week. We'll have to keep an eye on that. It could be a couple inches. It could be a significant storm. Uh, but there's not going to be much when you get to I-70 and south, that's for sure. Back into the Midwest, nickel and diming our way to a few inches, maybe into portions of the snow belts too. It's not going to be a huge deal. Into the Northeast, this is what could happen. It's not set in stone at all. But if we do get that system to wrap up the middle of next week, there could be several inches. But we probably get a little bit even into coastal areas from the couple of systems that are going to be over the next few days or so. We'll get periods of cold here with that system moving on out, but we do eject above average temperatures. Overall, this is going to be an above average regime for sure in the temperature department. Some well above average temperatures, but the widespread 50s and 60s north are pretty much done. And there will be a couple of brief little mini Arctic blasts at times that do head east. But overall, it's a mild pattern over the next really two weeks, I would say, end of January might be a pattern change.